Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our online junior chat service. I hope you're doing well. I hope this year you've started well, and as we, as we continue with our service, I hope you're taking notes, you're reading your Bible, and you're taking good care, good care of yourself, okay? So we want to pray before we start our service. Let us pray. pray. So our hands together, our heads we bow for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence with our hearts full of thanksgiving, Lord. Lord, you've been good to us. You've been awesome. You've been amazing. You've taken good care of us. Lord, we are grateful, Lord. As we come before your presence this, this Sunday morning, we, we pray that you accept our praise and worship. You accept our singing, you accept our dancing to you, Lord, because, Lord, we are glad that you made us and we are alive today, Lord. So bless us, Lord, for it is in Jesus' name we pray, trust, and believe. And all of us say, Amen. Amen. Children at home, let us say, Amen. Amen, 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 Amen. Okay, teacher Rose, you can start. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you're fine and ready to dance to the Lord and sing, raise your hands to Jesus because this is a good day and a blessed day that the Lord has made. So even you at home, dance to the Lord as we sing, who has the final say? Amen? Amen. And let's clap our hands to Jesus. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Jehovah has the final say. So in this next song, we have actions to, to it. So let's do the actions together as we sing with Christ in my heart. I can smile at the storm. Amen? Amen. Okay. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Sailing, sailing home with Christ in my heart. I can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Christ in my heart. I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm as we go sailing 
home. Wonderful. I hope that you are also doing the actions to just start. Amen. Amen. So I would like to ask my team to sit down. Let's sit down before we get into uh, reading the lessons, for, the lesson for today, and learning much more. All right. Um, let me get my Bible and a notebook. You can also go get your Bible and and a notebook so that we are in one page as we get to know what the Lord is saying today. But just before we get into the word, let us pray. Put your hands together and bow your head for a word of prayer. Almighty God, we come before you this morning with our hearts full of thanksgiving. We honor and glorify your name, O oh God, because you are worthy and there is none like you. Lord, we thank you for our mommies, for our daddies, for our siblings, O oh God. We thank you for protecting them all through the week. We thank you, O oh God, for providing for us, O oh Jesus. And Lord, as we start, as we are going to read your word, O oh God, may your peace be with us, O oh God, and may your spirit take control over everything, O oh God. And Lord, may we listen to what we are going to be taught today. And above everything else, O oh God, may this be for the honor and glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All the children say. Amen. Aha. Uh -huh. for, for today, I have, I have a few people in the classroom. And I'd like them to say their names. So, what's your name? Tell tell the children at home your name. My name is Kristen Kenya. We can't hear you. My, my name is Kristen Kenya. Your name is Kristen Kenya. Oh, her name is Kristen Kenya. How old are you? I am six years old. She's six years old, in case you didn't hear that. And on my right, we have someone else. What's your name? Unaito Anani. Put the microphone here so we can hear. Mm -hmm. Like this, yes. Say your name. Medivon McKenna. Awesome. And on my far right, there's somebody else. Tell us your name, please. Yay, my name is Teacher Hillary, and I'm happy to be here today. Thank All you. All great. Boys and girls, they have said their names, and I would also like to say my name. My name is Teacher Rose Atieno, and like many of you, like calling me Teacher Rosie. So uh, I hope that you are well and ready to listen to today's lesson. Last Sunday, Reverend Mugi taught about one of the promises of God. And I hope that you can remember. Can you remember what, teacher, what Reverend Mugi talked about, Teacher Hillary? Yes, he, t he talked about provision. Provision. Yes. yes. Last Sunday, Reverend Mugi spoke about God promising us for, uh, provision. He promised that he's going to provide for us. And that is why we all have food, shelter, and clothing, because he is providing for you and I. All right? So um, now, boys and girls, let us open our Bibles and, and go to Psalm 91, verse 1 to 6, as today's topic is about protection. We are going to talk about God's protection. Therefore, get your Bible and go straight to Psalm 91, verse 1 to 6, so we can hear what God has to say about protection. Teacher Hillary, do you mind reading for us? Yes, I can read for All us. Right, okay. okay. So children at home, our today's Bible readings come from Psalms 91, verse 1 to 6. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Teacher Rosie? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the, of the Lord, he is my refuge 
and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Verse 3 says, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the floor and from the uh, perilous, uh, peri from the perilous. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid. You shall not be afraid, children. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by the day, nor of the uh, pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the dis distractions that lays waste at nobody. And teacher Rosie, that's the reading of the word of God. Uh, everybody says amen. 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 That. Um, I will also read uh, the same, the same, the same, uh, the same book. That is Psalm 91, verse 1 to 6, on this other different version, Bible version. Okay? So let's listen up. Psalm 91, verse 1 to 6 says, Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, You are my defender and protector. You are my God. In you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark or the evils that kill in daylight. And that is the word of God. We say thanks be to, to God. God. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right, children. Uh, what do you think the word protection means? What is protection? Tell your mommy or daddy or your siblings or even your cousin seated next to you what you think the word protection means. And as you tell your daddy and mommy, I'd like to ask uh, some of us here what they think protection means. What is protection according to you, Christian? Tell us. Tell the children at home what you think. Okay. Okay. And this other side. This other, okay. Teacher Hillary, what do you think protection is? Care or refuge. Care or refuge. All right. Have you told your mommy and daddy what you think protection is? All right. As for me, this is what I think protection is. It means keeping something or someone safe, all right? Or uh, sheltering something from harm and defending things. That is what protection means. Boys and girls, there are two types of protection that I'm going to talk about today. Number one, the physical protection. This is the kind of protection that involves the things that we see, that we see, feel, and touch, all right? In our homes, we have gates. We have a guard right at the gate, and towards the house, we have a door. We have a gate and a guard and a, and a door that shields us from different types of dangers. All these things protect us against the thieves, the dangerous animals, and any, many other things that we may not know. All right? Is that right, Shahilari? Yes. Yeah. So, and even at home, when you're with your mom and dad, you usually feel very protected. And especially when you're playing outside and you find that there's someone threatening you, what do you usually tell them? When someone tries to threaten you, Tisha Hillary, what, what do you think you would tell them? Or what did you used to tell, to tell them? I'm going to tell my mommy or daddy. I'm going to tell my mom, or, because you know that your mom and dad protect you, they're, they're your protection, all right? So, and even in school, we have teachers who protect us from all dangers. And this, this is a good thing. It is good to acknowledge that we have 
we have uh, parents, we have teachers who look who look out for us, all right? And that shows that they protect us because they care for us. And this physical protection that I'm talking about this morning does not mean that God does not protect us uh, even if we have our parents. He does, he protects us, though we have parents and teachers around us, all right? That is uh, the, type, the, the number one type of protection that I've talked about. The second one is the spiritual protection as defined in Psalm 91 verse 1 to 6. This kind of protection protects us in our journey of salvation. And the journey of salvation is a spiritual journey. All right? And for God to protect us in this journey, he, had, he, has, he has told us that we, all we need to do is to accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior and to have a relationship with him. And the only way in which we can have a relationship with God is by accepting Jesus Christ as our personal savior. And that means that you get saved. Amen? Amen. Boys and girls, are we together up till there? Okay. The other thing you need to do so that God can protect you is by reading your Bible and praying every day to God. Because when you read the Bible, you get to know more about God. When you read the Bible, you get to know the promises that the Lord has kept for you. The other time we were saying that uh, God, uh, we talked about God, pro uh, God promising to provide for us. And today we're talking about God promising to protect us. For him to protect us, we need to read more about him so we are able to know what is he saying about protection. Amen? Amen. So you read your Bible, pray every day, and the, the other thing is by accepting Jesus as a personal savior so you can commune, you can communicate with the Lord himself. Amen? So according to Psalm 91 verse 6, God has promised to protect us if we are in him. That means having a relationship with him just like I have explained, uh, uh, just, just, just like I, I have explained. He has promised to protect us against the things that we can read in the Bible in Psalm 91 verse 1 to 6. Let us highlight the things that God has promised to protect us against. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, you are my defender and protector. You are my God, in you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers. That is, uh, that, that, that is a promise, that God will keep you safe from all hidden danger, dangers. Hidden dangers means that these are the things that you may not see, but they are they, 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 but they can harm you. But God himself promises that he will protect you against all those hidden things that you cannot see. Amen? The other thing that, uh, the, that God says is that and from, he will protect you from all deadly diseases. All right? That is another uh, promise of protection. He will cover you with his wings. He's promising to cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You will need not fear any danger at night or sudden attacks during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark or the evils that kill in daylight. The Lord has promised to protect you against the things that you cannot see, against the things that you can see because he is faithful enough to do just that. Amen, children? Amen. Boys and girls, I hope that we have been together all along and that you, you understand that God is able to protect both physical things and the hidden things that we may not see, that you and I cannot see. Therefore, the memory verse for today is coming from the book of Psalm 91, verse 3. Say with me, Psalm 91, 91 verse, verse 3. 3. And it says, He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers 
and from all deadly diseases. Let's say it together while holding our Bibles and reading uh, slowly. Psalm 91 verse, verse 3, 3 says, He will keep you, you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. Amen? Amen. Remember that God has promised to protect us if and only if we agree to be, to be in him. If we only agree to be in him and to accept him as our Lord and Savior. And how do you grow this? This grows by reading your Bible and praying every day without getting tired because God will never get tired listening to you. He will always listen to your prayers and protect you just as he has promised in both physical things and the spiritual things that you cannot see. Amen, children? Amen. Boys and girls, that has been a les our lesson for today, and I hope that you have learned something that will carry you through this coming week, and that you will also tell your, your, fellow, uh, uh, your fellow students that God is able to protect you from all kinds of danger, both, that, both, of, both, of, both of the, that is the spiritual and the physical things that you cannot see. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Jesus for teaching us that today. And just before we end today's lesson, I'd like us to pray. All right? So let's put our hands together and pray. Everlasting God, we come before you this morning. We are grateful to hear from you that indeed, Lord, you are able to protect us from the things that we can see and those that we cannot see. Father, Lord, I pray that even as we start this week, may you be with us, O oh God. Protect us against all kinds of dangers. And Lord, may you also protect our mummies and daddies, our grannies, and our and all every other person that is associated with us, O oh God. Remind them of your love and your faithfulness, Jehovah King of Glory. Father, Lord, I thank you because we can always pray to you anytime, any day, and anywhere. And you are faithful to fulfill that which we ask of you. And it is in Jesus' mighty and lovely name we have prayed. Yeah. Amen. Everybody say, Amen. 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 Clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands to mm. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Okay. All right. Okay, mm. teacher Rosie, we we have birthdays. We need to celebrate those who have birthdays. Okay. Uh -huh. I know children at home, some of you are having their birthdays today or this week. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we want to sing for you. We want to celebrate uh, with you as you grow a year older. Okay? Teacher Rosie, could you lead us in, okay. in our song? For those of you having birthdays this week, and even today, I know there's some that have birthdays today, so let's sing a birthday song to you. I hope you enjoy and love this song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. How Happy old are you now? How old are you now? Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Have a wonderful birthday and may God bless you and increase you and make you more beautiful and more stronger. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay. See you next Sunday, children. Bye. Bye. Bye for